we may be starting to get some concrete answers about anti COVID-19 efforts. Antibody testing has arrived in our community. KIDK Eyewitness News 3's Ariel Schroeder joins us live at the waterfront at Snake River Landing in Idaho Falls. Ariel, what's going on there? Well, Todd, as we reported yesterday, we told you that Crush the Curve for Idaho has started its new campaign today. Earlier, people were lined up right here, getting ready to get tested. Crush the Curve Idaho has set up new antibody testings in Idaho Falls for those with no active symptoms of the virus. As we look at what's going to happen going forward until the time that we have a vaccine. We need data and the data needs to be inclusive of all regions in Idaho. Volunteers have already tested more than 5,000 people for COVID-19 antibodies in the Treasure Valley last week. Now they are joining up with Mountain View Hospital to get our region's critical data. So we don't need to just understand community health in the Treasure Valley. We need to be able to understand community health at a state level. As the cars rolled in, they carried an estimate of 500 people seeking out testings on Monday. Crush the Curve Idaho is grateful to see local leaders, first responders and other essential workers come in. There's a personal responsibility that all of us are going to have to take when it comes to community health from here on out. And that's when we talk about, everyone talks about what's the new normal, what does life look like on the other side of this? That's a big component of it. They say testing is critical to understand who may have COVID-19 and assess who has already been exposed and developed antibodies against the disease. And so this testing isn't just for the curious and they're out there, those that truly believe they have the illness and they wanna find out. This testing is a way for us all actively as Idahoans to participate in working towards the answer. So here's what you need to know if you plan to get tested. It's walk in or by appointment. You will drive up to the waterfront building, remain in your car until a team member brings you paperwork. After you fill out all the information, you will wait inside your car until you are asked to come in. From there, you will check in, sit down, and have your blood drawn. Results for the test will be about two days. Testings will be available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reporting live in Idaho Falls, I'm Ariel Schroeder. All right, Ariel, thank you. Organizers ask that you plan about an hour to get through the entire testing process due to social distancing and the increased demand.